So, first, go into your blackboard and then go to lab menu. Thank you. Well, I do not play anything in the background because this video will be recorded. You can unmute only if you have doubts regarding the black force, okay? Okay. So chapter four is all about the probability and then the numeric simulation. I think like in general to see but we carrying out the number of what do you mean C? Uh, number of procedures or uh, number of trends. So number of trends, we carry out the number of trends and then we will come to the conclusion or we will find a solution by carrying out the numerous of trials, okay? Maybe like 10,000. So in this chapter 4, we'll be carrying out for 10,000 of trials, you say. Trials is nothing but a simulation. Okay. And then this is the probability. Probability in the sense, like uh, the chances you see. You see if you have a coin and you are talking it, then what are the chances of getting hit? It will be one, right? Because you are talking only one, so the number of chances you get is one. So like that. So this, um, I don't want to do the class activity. You can do by yourself. The uh, procedure has been uh, mentioned very clearly. So if you guys can do the class activity by yourself, then it is not mandatory to uh, add that in the assignment. So I will skip go to the assignment question. Okay. So this is your assignment. There is only one question, but it's too long. Okay, I want you all to um, just read it for five minutes and I will explain you what this is. And do not leave the meeting because I am blocking it, so once you leave, you cannot come back. Unless I have it. Hey, um, just to make a quick, um, so I would know that this wasn't going to be posted or anything, but I think all of them are going to be recorded. Um, I have an appointment with my academic advisor at 1.30, mm -hmm. applying for graduation, so I might, ha I think I have to leave. Okay, you are leaving at 1.30? Uh, probably 1.27, so that's okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. So, so, yeah, this video is recorded and will be uploaded in the platform. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, by mistake, if you have leaving and then if you want to come back again, then that will not be possible because I will be locking the meeting. So, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let me explain you this. This is nothing but, um, the summary is there are two people, okay, they are basically friends, and one guy or, uh, yeah, one friend gets a thousand dollars cash, okay, and then the other friend, his friend suggests him to play a game called Roulette, okay. So Roulette in this is you, um, invest money in that to play a game 
and then the chances are you will get a profit and also you will be losing some money. Okay, it's purely based on the book. So um, now we are supposed to calculate the chances of winning the money or how much money we leave in and at what time or at what point we leave in all the money. So this is what we are going to find out today. So now there are some information to go on the game. Okay, the game says that in that game, like the game called as Violet, there will be 38 slots in which 36 numbers will be there and the remaining two slots belong to Zero. Okay, there are total, in total there are 36 slots. In that, the 36 slots will be uh, occupied by the numbers and the re remaining two slots is called Zero. Okay, so that is how the product will be displayed. Okay. And now what are the betting strategy or what is the betting ratio? The betting ratio is 35 to 1. Meaning, if you win, you will be getting $35. If you lose, you will be losing $1. Okay, that is the meaning of 35 to 1. That is the target as a betting ratio. Now, what are the uh, next thing? Uh, you have to consider a simulation. Simulation is nothing but doing a trial using a Bernoulli random variable. Bernoulli random variable in the sense you have to apply a Bernoulli formula or we say binomial formula and then we are supposed to carry out this simulation. So then they are giving they are uh, they are given the information about the probability of winning that is one over the feet. Meaning since there are 38 slots, the chances of winning will be only one. Okay? One in 38 trials. Okay? So you, we carry out 38 trials and we say that there are only um, one chance to win among that 38 trials. Okay? And then if you win, you will get a money of 35 dollars. Okay? And then perform a simulation using the single bet of equal amount of money and then that will assist thousand dollars of oh, meaning you have to carry out a um, simulation or trial for different number of betting issues and then find out the uh, number of trial simulation number at which you will lose or that friend will lose all the money. Okay. Well, see what happens when considering the positive scenario, scenario that being given, you do not have to consider any other ratio other than this. Now, what happens when you bet for one dollar, ten dollar, fifty, and hundred? So you have to find out the simulation numbers and then say at this point uh, you lose all the money for betting of one dollar or ten dollar like that. So now well, uh, these are another set of questions. This has to report summarizing the number of simulations, meaning you have to mention how many simulations you carried out, and for this, I will give you the format. Um, for this betting amount, I lost money at this child, and you have to mention the simulation number, and then you have to explain the procedures. Um, whatever you have done to get that result and then you have to state your conclusion uh, saying that whether the roulette game is good or not and then how do you relate your results to the law of large numbers then as is left to you because law of large numbers has been in your theory and you have to compare these results in your um, lecture classes okay this is a lecture concept and yeah, you will have to compare this lab the result with the lecture theory and then you have to answer that question. Okay. So now um we will be doing this using GMP and also Excel. Okay. So in GMP, the why the reason why we are using Excel is in GMP we cannot create the formula. 
तुम्ही कॅन यूज द फॉर्म्युला शवर एज यू बिल्ट अप डिझाईनचे फॉर्म्युला वी कॅनॉट क्रिएट आर ओन फॉर्म्युला बट इन केस ऑफ एक्सेल वी कॅन क्रिएट अवर ओन फॉर्म्युला सो एंड दॅट इज द रीजन वी आर यूजिंग एक्सेल फाईन सो आय वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू यू दिस सलाइन विथ मी बिकॉज दिस लॅग इज फॉर ट्रिकी फॉर यू ऑल ओके yeah let me open the jnt software and then do not open the subset of my data or any other subset or uh, any other uh, data set okay we are not going to do it uh, with a data uh, with a data set we are going to create a new data table for this okay for that go to file new and then data table okay you get this a uh, window like the method and then just a uh, bracket on this column okay and then go to column info right click on the column column info and name it as wallet okay you name it as wallet and then you are supposed to apply a formula for this. remember it was mentioned in the question that you have to carry out the formulation using bernoulli random variable right and that is why we are going to apply a formula for and um after the column property you get the formula option then go to edit formula okay column property formula and then edit formula you get one more window Okay, now we are supposed to choose a formula from this. Okay, so since we are uh, choosing a random variable, then we will choose this random. Since it is Bernoulli, okay, Bernoulli is nothing but like a binomial, similar to binomial. So we will see random binomial, random, random binomial. We get this two things. What is random? and is nothing but the um what do we see like chance of winning or losing right you will win or else you will lose okay both cannot happen at the same time so hence we will see that n is always equal to 1 in most of the probability cases n will always be 1 okay and then what is p p is nothing but probability what is the value of probability It was mentioned in your assignment, which was one over thirty-eight. If you want, I can show it. Yeah. The probability was already given, which was one over thirty-eight. Okay. So n value should be one, and the probability should be one over thirty-eight. Do not swap the values. Okay. If you swap, the formula will be wrong, and then you will get only one value. so it should n should be always be equal to 1 and then the probability value will be 1 over 38 and apply okay we have a few more questions i'll give them to them just type it down just type it okay you have the right so just click on the box and then on your keyboard one and you have that division symbol so put that division symbol and then write the key then we do you want to zoom in on your screen because we can't really see we can't really and, read uh, or see anything on the screen can i see it are you uh, getting the black screen or blank one No, when I'm reading when we're sharing screens and I'm, you're sharing your screen with us. Mm-hmm. Um, could you zoom or image in your view because we can't really I mean I can't read the words and numbers that you're typing in even though you're saying it to us. So it's kind of hard to understand you sometimes. Okay. So now, can you because there is no zoom option in this GMP. So I can zoom in. I can only really maximize or minimize it. Yeah. 
But can you, uh, is it okay now? I maximize the window. Just click on the box. Okay. Click on the box. And from your keyboard, just type 1. On your keyboard, 1. And then you have the division symbol on your keyboard. Right? You have to click that. Division symbol. Okay. And then type the date. One, the usual symbol, and then set here. And then you have to enter it. You get that. You want me to repeat or to do that? Shall I repeat? Okay, so after applying the formula, after giving the value to the formula, you have to click on OK, insert this, and then again, apply, and then OK. Fine, you have to get the window like this. Okay, and then you are going to add rows. Okay, rows is uh, like nothing but the number of simulations. You are going to add the number of simulations and for your assignment, the number of simulations is given as 10,000. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. You have to use at least 10,000 simulations. So, we are going to add 10,000. For that, you have to click on the rectangle and then add row. Okay? And type in 10,000. Okay, that's it. You must get like the like numbers like one zero zero. You will not get same values which I'm getting because remember the data has been chosen randomly one thing, and then my sample size is different and your sample size will be different. Okay, so the random will, the the data will be chosen randomly. So the values will not match. Got it? So you have, but you have to get only values like 1 and 0. You are not supposed to get values other than this. You must get 1 or else 0. Fine. So 1 is nothing but uh, you have 1. 0 means you have lost the money. Okay? That is um, the representation of the Value. One means winning, zero means losing. Okay? Like, uh, when we open a subset of small towns, we have a column called X, right? And in that, we have one, two, right? So we say that, um, one, one is called as male and two is representing female. So in the same way, here, one will be representing win and zero will be representing Okay. So after this, once you have done this, that's it. So this is this is the only work in the GNP which you have to do. And then you are going to save this. You can save as. Not on save, it should be on save as. Okay. And then you can select whichever folder you want. Okay. And then I'm going to rename it as the so probability and simulation. Okay, now you have to change the type of file to Excel. Okay, just click on this and you have some options here and you have to choose Excel Workbook. Okay, click on Excel Workbook and then you have to see it. Yes, click on next. Okay, this is what you get. Is it clear here? I got a question. Yes. 
How did you get there again, like to save it and everything? Yeah, I'm sure. All you have to do is go to file and then save as, okay? File, mm. save as. You have to choose any folder you want here and then rename it. The file as um, probably the information or if you can give whatever name you want. And then you have to change the save as type. You have this option, right? So you have I to don't have a Mac. Oh, you have a Mac. Yeah, I don't know where you... What, what options do you have other than this? Um, there is no save as type. It's just like you just save it. You have... Oh. I don't have an option to save it. Save like as a certain type. So any other words using Mac, you have options similar to save as? Any other students? No, my I'm having the same problem. I'm having the same problem as the system too. Okay, let me see what I can do. But okay, try um uh you have an option called as rename. Do you have? Or while saving the file, do you have option uh to rename the file name? Yeah, I have an option to rename it. Okay. So just go ahead and rename it, and then after typing your uh, the file name, okay, along with that, just type as uh, dot x l s x, okay? Type this extension with the dot. Try doing it. So save as is the option which is along with the GMB process. The first thing you must get that option. No, it's still, it's still popped up as a GMB process. Yeah, GMB. As a GMB file. Yeah. Yes, let me check. So, uh, you have an option called as file here? Yeah, I have the file. File, but save as is not there. Yeah, save as, save as is here, and then... Save as is here. Can I export it? Yeah, you can export, but... Okay, I'll do Excel. Okay, then do it. You can export it then. But there's like options and it's XLSX, XLS and export multiple data tables. Which one would it be? Well, um, Excel SS is better. But okay. that will work, but yeah, try doing the first one. Okay, yeah, I got that too. You got that? You said it was XLSX? Yeah, you can open that or else XLS is also okay. belong to Excel. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah. It works for me, it works for me too. Good. Okay, then let me open it. Okay. So is your Excel file just looking like this? You have to get these two columns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, my time. My time. So, so, what is visible in your Excel then? It just says, uh, real that, and then it has like one long column. Like this. Yeah, right. You got the, so like this column, right? Yeah, it doesn't have the numbers on the side, but I don't know if that matters. It matters actually, because that is the uh, solution for your questions there. Oh, okay. right. Maybe uh, it has been minimized or something like that. Is it hidden? I'm going to redo it again and see if okay. I go. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you did not add rules in the GMP.
So in your GMP software, I think you did not add the rule. So in your GMP also, you must have these two columns. If you are doing proper in your GMP, then you will definitely get those columns in Excel also. I have mm -hmm. the columns, they're not popping up. Uh-huh. Okay, try doing it again. See, oh, so other friends, are you getting those two columns? The one on your unique. I don't mind having it. Okay. Yeah, I said I don't have it. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. No problem. Try to get away. Um, can you get it? So, are you sure in your GMP you have two columns? Yeah, I have two columns. Sure. Can you not get it? Okay, uh, try changing the format. The okay. format. Yeah, yeah, format of Excel, you have two formats, right? One is Excel is SX and then Excel is So, try changing the format there. To so Excel is? Yeah. Troy, you have to export it. Yeah, that's And do the XLS. Okay, I was doing No, I'm still popping up the same. Mm-hmm. Are you sure it's just not on the very left? Like, there should be numbers on the very, very left. Yeah, there's nothing there. Like small. Yeah, there's nothing. It's just like, I just have that first row of numbers. That's it. Okay. I'm going to do one thing then. Okay. Let me try... Okay, so I will do, I'll continue doing the last four and uh, let me check what I can do for you. Alright. Yeah. So, this really doesn't matter, but the thing is, you will have to mention your simulation number. So, at that point, you, this column is much necessary. Okay? So, that doesn't continue formula or something like that. So, your values will be uh, correct. That you will have to mention your simulation. So that is why we need that column. No problem, we'll see uh, later what we can do that. And yeah, we'll continue. Also, after this uh, column, make sure this is. Yeah, make sure you have uh, you have the row in the eight column, okay? So that uh, our formula will be same for everyone. Make sure this column and the E. Okay. After doing it, go to the B column. Now let me uh, type the heading. So I will see then or uh, Okay, that is one column. Uh, And then I have to calculate the money left. This is for one dollar. I will mention that for one USD. I am doing for one USD and you guys have to do for the remaining thing. And you can do it in the same Excel worksheet. You just have to Give that in a different column, okay? The formulas will be different for different columns. So, with the same betting amount, the formulas will be different. And you must be careful by creating a formula. Okay, this is done. This is for 10 this is 
for sixty, and this is for hundred. Okay. So after um, typing the heading for all the columns, and then we will go and create a formula. So is it clear till here? Make sure the columns are right. Okay. Fine. The columns must be same, similar to my Excel worksheet, and then only the formula will be same for everyone. Got it? The columns must be same. Okay. The values might be different, but the columns must be same. After doing all this, we will go and write the formula for these things. Okay. The formula is whenever you are entering the formula in Excel, you have to start with the equal to sign. So I'm doing the equal to sign and then writing if. If in the sense, it's a conditional operator with me a conditional. Condition uh, meaning if um, the number, if that cell is equal to this number, then we will then or else we will use. That is we call it as a conditional operator, if is that type of operator. So after writing equal to sign, write if, and then open and close the bracket. Okay. Inside this bracket, click on this cell, the one cell. Okay. So no matter if you have zero there, no problem. You just have to choose that cell. It should be A2. Okay, eight columns and second row. That is the meaning of A2. Got it? And then, if that cell is equal to zero, then I will be losing my one. So I say it is negative one, right? If we lose, we'll be losing one. Okay. Question. Yes. Uh, I would like to see the formula that you're typing in, but I can't see it. Is it provided anywhere? Uh, no, it's not in the lab manual. Can you repeat? Sure. So, and to that, yes, yeah, this uh, type equal to equal if let me um, write Okay, let me try to do it. After type equal is and then you have to choose. Make sure you don't type. You have to choose that A2 sign and then 0, negative 1, 35. Okay, just type this formula in your Excel. Let me uh, change the font style. Okay. So is this clearly visible now? So let me know once you are done, so that I can continue in my laptop. You have to choose this cell. Do not type as A2, you have to select that cell. Done? Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Good. Good. Fine. So yeah. So I was telling that you have to choose the cell and if that cell is equal to zero, then you will be losing one dollar. Okay? If not, if not, comma, thirty five. Thirty five this is that is the minimum amount, right? If that cell is not equal to zero, then what is it equal to? I said this column 
the A corner will consist of only two numbers, that is 1 or is 0. If A2 is not equal to 0, then it is equal to 1, right? So, if A2 is equal to 1, you will be sending a certified dollar. So, that is the meaning of this formula. That's it. Once you are done with this, be very careful with your spreadsheet. Okay, once you are done with this, enter. That is, why did I get certified? So that you might be getting a negative 1 in this first cell. Why is that? Because I have 1 here. If you have 0 here, you must get negative 1. You must get negative 1. If you do not get, then your formula will be wrong. Okay? Make sure it is negative 1 or else 35. Okay? If this is 1, you must get 35 here. Got it? After doing all this, now I need to apply this formula for all the 10,000 simulations. Remember, I cannot type the formula for all the cells, right? So what I am I supposed to do is, can you see the small dot, the rectangle dot here, dot here? Okay. So uh, if you place your cursor over there, you get a small plus sign. Okay. Now what you have to do is just drag it. Drag it through 10,000 simulations. So I will do a small number of now. Because it takes a long time. Okay, just leave it here. Okay, you have to drag it. Is it done? You must get only 35 or else negative 1. You should not get any other number. Okay. Okay, let us go to the um, third column, that is money left. So how do we calculate the money left, the remaining amount? For example, so I have uh, five apples, and I see you to give me two apples, okay? You have, in total, you have five apples, and you are giving me two apples. So what is the remaining apples left with you? It will be three, right? So how did you calculate? You are going to subtract the five apples to the two, right? And that is how you get the remaining amount. But in this case, the formula will be quite different. Why is that? Because you have negative one more. Okay? When you are adding, for example, say uh, five, let me show the work part. So, as I said, you have five apples, negative, and taking two apples. So, hence I say it is negative, okay? I'm taking two apples. So, what is the remaining amount? It will be three, right? But, what if the value is negative two? Okay? Just, uh, do not say the negative, uh, the, the subtraction symbol. And if you are subtracting, I am giving the symbol as negative. What if this value is negative two? You know what happens? If that becomes negative, then it will be like 5. Negative into negative. Negative multiplied with negative is positive. 2, which becomes 7. This is totally wrong. Okay? If you have 5 apples and if I am taking 2 apples from you, how can you get 7 apples? Right? That is why I will change my formula. I'll change the symbol of the formula. Even though I am subtracting it, I am giving it a plus sign. Why? Because a positive sign multiplied with negative will give you a negative always. Got it? And then your answer will always be correct. That is the reason I am changing my symbol. Even though I am subtracting it, I am doing subtraction of data, but I am not going to naturally subtract symbol. Okay? I am going to give a plus sign because my value is a negative. Not it? Suppose, let me take the example of the unit. I told you, um, 
the total amount, say uh, the to what is the total amount? That is thousand dollars, right? Remember, in your assignment, it's spent at one thousand dollars. So he has in total he has thousand dollars now. He played a game. Betting amount is like for one dollar. Say is winning. Okay, right? Is winning it, and you can see here. Okay, see the direct value is one. So is winning thirty five dollars. So what is my money left? How do I calculate it? Since is winning, it will be plus thirty five, right? Plus thirty five. That is thousand plus thirty five. What is thousand plus thirty five? It will be thousand thirty five. You can use your calculator. So that will be thousand thirty five. Suppose if you have negative one in place of thirty five, what will happen? Okay, I have negative one now. My value is a negative. So what is thousand negative one? Be nine nine nine. Right, you must get these values in the C column. Now, how do I use the formula for that? To do that, you must mention as thousand here. Okay, you must mention the total amount somewhere in the cell. You can mention it somewhere anywhere you want. Okay, anywhere in the end you can see where you are. Have that thousand here. Okay, go back to the money left column. Now let me start writing the formula. So, like as I said, you have to start with equal to sign, equal, and then click on this thousand. See this? It should be thousand, and then you have to select those respective cells. Okay, so that go to thousand, and then plus sign. You have to choose this cell. Okay, and then enter. And start. Okay, this is the formula. Uh, some of you might be getting nine ninety nine in the first column. If you get that, then you are correct. Okay. After this, now you are not supposed to drag it. Okay. Why? Because the total amount has been changed here. It is not thousand now. What is your total amount? It is thousand thirty-five. So what am I going to do? Is again write your formula. Okay, equal to sign. Now this is your money left, right? This is your money left. So I am going to select this cell plus this one, the corresponding cell, and then enter. Now you can write cell ten thousand. Okay. Let me drag it in ten thousand. Got it? This is how you have to perform for the rest of the column. Fine. And here the formula is this. But I told you the formula will be changing for each and every column. Right. Okay, so what is the formula for this ten dollars now? I have a question. Yes. Can you show me how you did the one thousand for the C column one more time? One thousand for this. What you have to do is just type thousand. In whichever column you have, like empty columns. Okay, I'm going to type in in the trade column. You can do it for a trade column. This will be better. So once you have typed thousand in that, you do not have to do anything there. Just come back to this column. Okay, and what you are supposed to do is start with the equal to sign, and then you have to choose that select the thousand. Okay, do not type. Since we are creating the formula, do not type the values. Okay, so you have to choose that 
cell and then come back to the formula plus plus the corresponding cell, the corresponding column of B. Okay. Just click on the B column and then enter. Did you get? Oh my god. Uh, what is the value you got? It just says false. False. Oh. Okay, then uh, I think the mistake is in your formula then. Did you find it equal to? Uh, instead of equal, I mean, instead of plus, I put equal. So let me oh, just. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I got 999. Good. Uh, you got an NNN because you have negative 1 in the B column, right? Yes. So after getting that, you must change the formula in your own. Okay? You must choose this cell in place of 1000. You must select the top cell. If you have 999 also, you have to select that one. So after doing that, you can just drag it. So you just have to type formula in the first and second row. That's it. Only for these two, you have to type the formula. And then you can just click on the last row and then drag it. Okay? You will get the formula will be applied for all the rows, for all number simulation. Fine. So this is for $1. You have to do for the rest of the uh, columns, like for 10000 50000 100 Hundred dollars, okay. Oh, sorry, it's a thousand. That's one thousand. It is ten USD, fifty USD, and then hundred USD. And remember, the formula will change. So, what will be the formula for this? There's nothing bad. Show you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, this is. Correct. So here, the formula will be same. Till it A to equal to zero. The cell will be same for all the number of settings. Okay. Till here, it will be same. Okay. Change will happen on the year. Okay. So what you have to do is, if your betting amount is 10 USD, then you are going to multiply with that. Okay for both. Got it? You can type as uh, 35 into 10 is 50. So you can type your values directly. 1 into 10 is 10. Or else you can mention as 1 into 10. Then that also. And make sure the, the symbol should be negative. The symbol will not change. Okay? Only change will be in the value. Suppose if you are betting for, uh, say, 50 USD, then your formula will be your formula will be what was your um, original formula? It was negative one and thirty five, right? So since your betting amount is fifty USD, we're going to multiply with it. Got it? Okay. And the amount left, you must be uh, careful with that also. Your amount left will be like this. Start with the equal to sign, and then you have to select this. Okay, plus you have to choose this. Since you are doing for 10 years, you are supposed to select the B column. Okay? Since you are calculating for 10 years, you are supposed to choose the Take the values from the D column, got it, and then enter. And then you can drag it. After entering formula in the second row, you can drag it. Likewise, do for the rest of the columns. Got it? And um, I have the format. I don't want to upload it. Okay, I don't want to upload it because the, uh, like, 
some strengths are there, all kinds of stopping for the pain, all kinds of loading the pain. So I do not want to upload it, I just want to show you how the format of the assignment. It will be like, uh, you just have to type your name, remember, you have to type your name, date, okay, and then uh, mention the assignment number. After this, this is how you are going to use the solutions for your assignment question, okay. So what you have to see is, you are running a simulation, right, uh, number of trials will be 10,000, okay, and then you are betting for $1, and from that, the money would completely run out or you will lose all the money at which number of simulation. Which number you will lose all money? You have to mention that simulation number. And also I need to for that. So what you have to do is just uh, crop that position wherever you see the money as zero and then paste that picture. That is, let me uh, show you one. Let me search for a zero amount. In the money left column, the amount must be zero. Well, I did not carry out for hallucination, and that is why I cannot see zero. Okay. Now that I will be good. And you will also feel this problem. You will have to do something for this motion. You have to just keep on dragging it. Let me do for 50. And I will start the formula here. This is plus n and then enter. Enter. Okay. Uh, anyway. You must carry out for 10,000 and then you will see somewhere uh, in some simulation number. Uh, just assume that you have zero here in this case, okay? As you mean, that is not a total zero, but carefully assume it is zero. And you must know the simulation number here. That is why a cyclic column is very important. Okay? And you have to type that as this for getting $50 at the simulation number of 90. I lost all the money and then you have to crop it. How do you do it? You can use this open tool. Okay. Just click on the money and then just try to crop that position and try to highlight it. You have to highlight this. Okay, that's fine. That's it. That is how you do. So, uh, I don't know whether the math students have a tool, but yeah, we will have the uh, tool called as the teaching in the news. Okay, just enter it and then you can click on new and then you will have this blue screen and then you can crop whichever you want and then you can copy and paste it in the workshop. Okay, so that is how you have to write it. And then you do not have to write for the, uh, two, like a two paragraphs. You can just summarize what you, whatever you have mentioned in your last work was like about uh, eight to ten lines. So you do not have to write in a two paragraphs. Okay. 
Yeah, but make sure you answer all the questions mentioned in your assignment. Got it? So this is like you just have to summarize the procedure and you carry it out. And I need the answer for this also. How do you relate your results to the law of large numbers? Okay? And there are questions here also. Okay, and also here. Make sure you answer all the questions mentioned in your assignment. And that's all your last four. So, any doubts still here? We don't need to repeat. I have a question. Yes. I have a question for column C. For mm -hmm. okay, for the second one, we have a different um, in column C. Like if you click on the first one, ten thirty-five, mm -hmm. that formula is different than the one yes. below it. Yes. Which one do you want us to drag down? Well, you have to mention both the formulas for the two ones. As I said, you like what mm -hmm. we did in the beat column was. We just type the formula in the first row and we drag it. Because the formula is same for all the rows. But in case of this, the money left will be changing. Okay, for that what you have to do is while starting, you have to click on this thousand. Since you will have thousand dollars, you have to choose this cell, the third column, and then type the formula whichever has told you. But when you come to the second row, what happens is, now that your total amount would be increased or it would be decreased, okay? So, the chances are that you will, you know, the amount will be increased or is decreased. So, meaning the amount is changed now, right? So, if you are, um, say if you are following the same formula, like say, I am choosing the same thousand for all the rows, what happens is this. Okay, the total amount is 1000, negative 1 is 999, that's true, but what is the money left with you? That was 1035, right? And that is the reason why we change the formula for the second row also. Make sure you change the formula. You have to do it. You have to choose it and then enter it. Okay, for all the... Right, why did that? Yes? Uh, I did that, but my question is more specifically... Should I drag yes, down the second to. formula? You have to drag down. Okay, the thank you. Any other questions? Well, let me 